TV is surely it's just a, uh, a medium for big brands with big budgets. I'm a small business. Uh, I haven't got the scale or scope for something like TV. I totally understand why people would think this because uh, the big brands do spend a lot of money on TV. And uh, the money supermarkets, the Skies, the L'Oreal's, the P&G's, the Unilever's, you will see a lot of their advertising on TV and it appears uh, it's, uh, it's unreachable. However, if we actually break down um, all advertisers who spent on TV last year into pockets or groups of different levels of spend, we can see that by far the actual majority of advertisers who are taking advantage of TV uh, are sitting in the smallest bracket. In fact, I think it's just over 60% uh, of people, of advertisers who are spending on TV spend less than £250,000. Now, absolutely, the guys who are in the 50 million plus category are the guys who make up the bulk of the spend. But there are a number of small businesses who are utilising and taking advantage of the, the effectiveness that can be driven through TV advertising. So how does this work? Right? How, how can smaller businesses take advantage of TV? Well, the first thing to know is that TV is actually incredibly cheap. Uh, it's incredibly good value for money. So uh, the average cost of one person seeing one 30 second advert is half a P. You can get decent levels of reach and decent levels of exposure at low levels of spend. So on the next chart, what I've got is a very sort of rudimentary, simple way of looking at how exposure to your advertising grows at different levels of spend. Now, clearly, planning is much more complicated than this. There are different ways in which you can spend your budget if you want to drive frequency or if you wanted to drive reach. Um, but just to give you a broad idea of how TV works at different levels of spend, this shows you just a rudimentary level of reach against frequency. Um, and then finally on this area, I want to talk about um, a, a, a brilliant case study uh, for an advertiser that's just seen tremendous um, growth. They started out in 2011 and uh, they're called G-Tech and basically they, they came up with a new vacuum cleaner. The guy, uh, the, the guy who's the, the founder of the company used to work for Dyson and he thought he could do a better job. So he made his own vacuum cleaner um, and, and made it from scratch. And in the first year, um, they started just by running regional uh, advertising. They started in one region and with no venture capital investment, with no bank loans, just purely using uh, their, their cash that they had, uh, they put out a campaign um, and they generated response. Uh, they sold a load of vacuum cleaners uh, online uh, and then they generated enough money to then go back on TV, reinvest it and to start to organically grow their business. Uh, and they did this sort of month after month and they expanded incredibly quickly. In the first year, they turned over five million pounds. Uh, they are now um, turning over a hundred million pounds. They're one of the fastest growing businesses uh, in the UK. They basically used TV as the way to organically grow their business from scratch with no venture capital investment.